Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Russian Fishing 4, where, uh, let me get the lights on. Okay, so last episode, I might have stumbled upon something really interesting, which is the basic worm bait seems to be able to provide us with a lot of variety for the species we're starting to catch and see. So I'm going to keep working with that. And we'll just see what random stuff we might... We might be able to see, like, come out of this. I'm going to be a bit cautious fishing around here. Because this is where all the lily pads were, and I did get the one snag on the float rod that one time. But, if that bleak uh, cafe order is still present back in the cafe... Ooh, we might... Okay, you know what? Again, let me... Let me just try to tighten that. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's something definitely on. If the bleak order is still at the cafe and we can manage to catch five of them, that's going to be a nice profit for us for this weekend. What do we got? Uh, looks like maybe just a perch. Really on in. Yeah. Actually, fair size perch and... Yeah, it looks like there's just, like, a variety of tasks to complete. I guess it's something that has opened up since we managed to hit, uh, level 10. Okay. Get that nice and tight, and just keep going and see what happens. Speaking of, happens. Um... Tiniest... Oh, you know what? I better act on this. Or, maybe... Yeah, okay, I will. I wasn't sure if I would, but... Once it started dipping down full, definitely should act on this. Okay, what do we got? I'll try to keep away from the lily pads. Oh, looks like a fairly large roach. I think, at least. Yeah, 1.12 kilograms. Okay. Actually, if I can get lucky with finding a few more of those, I think there is one of the orders that has requested uh, at least kilogram weighted roaches. I can't remember if it was three or five you needed for it. <laughs> I guess all we'll do is we'll just keep at it for the entire episode and just bring the haul all back to the cafe and see how it stacks up. But very promising start to our second episode now. I just have to keep going and see what else we catch. I have noticed too that our Food has gone down a fair bit with us being out and about, but again, I think we've got more than enough time we can keep at it and see what else might happen. Yeah, just tighten that. And give it a little bit more time. But here I was, trying all of, like, the specific baits, seeing what would bring what in, when really I should have just been working from the very beginning and basics of trying the bland, regular worms. Just gotta give it some time and see. Uh, our float rod might have activity. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? No, oh, a little dinky roach. Yeah, just a little tiny thing. Ah, it looks small enough that you could just use it as bait itself. But we'll keep at this for a while. I don't know if I will switch baits up or I just want to keep working with the worms because of, like, the variety we've seen. If I check our live keep, Roach, Crucian, Perch, Rough, Chinese Sleeper, Tench, Pan... Yeah, we've gotten, like, White Bream. We've gotten a wide variety of fish this weekend. 
I mean, granted, it's nothing like any of the order specifically, but I think I mean, I think we can kind of agree that seeing the variety of fish for like a weekend's not too bad if we do try hard focusing more on the orders going ahead. I still don't really have a big purchase in mind. I I know like the min max thing would be save up, get more feeder rods. I could see them producing pretty well with how they've already done. But I also don't know too how that would like be content wise. Just constantly going on the same rods, same baits, etc. I also don't know what else big to try going for exactly either. It's like a lot of the stuff kind of feels like it's a little bit more behind uh, purchase walls. Like trying to do the cooking a little bit. Actually, I should look at that. It might not be as bad as I think. But I don't think there's actually a lot of fish that we could cook. We catch. Maybe it's only certain species? I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, there's still a lot I should look into, and having hit level 10 as well, I should also look and see what I want to put our uh, skill points into, because I do have 8 available. But it is also something, too, where I think you only get skills with, like, having so much skill progress done, too. Like, making ground baits... I mean, I can increase that, but I need to get 15% to get, like, more components for that. Making lures. I can make two types right now. I need to get that level 10 before I get another option. Uh, this one... 20% for that. Yeah, so it's a lot of stuff that is gated... Oh, lord. Gated off right now. That's what I get for looking thin menus while we have the lines in the water. Uh, can't tell what that is. Maybe a roach? No. Oh, that task completed. Okay, what does that do, though? Uh, maybe just an experience bonus? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, well, at least let everything just, like, nope. That was a little fishy. Pun not intended, but I guess kind of happy coincidence it did happen. I want to watch the line, because if it does go slack more, I think that could be a sign we've got another, like, rough or really small fish on. And our float rod is seeing some action. Come on, you know you want it. Just take it. Oh, it's like it's trying to send Morse code or something, isn't it? Come on. That should be it. Well, actually, this one might be a fair... S oh, yeah, this is another good size. Is this another roach or a bream? I can't super tell. A gibble. And actually, that was another task completed, too. Okay. I mean, I do need the gibbles for the... Uh, orders, but I do kind of feel like it's a shame to use one that big for an order. Like, it was 900 grams. Well, we'll just keep at it, because, yeah, the basic worm is bringing them in. And sometimes seeing very quick responses, too. We do have to slowly wait this out, but it is nice to see the results coming in so steadily. I 
And then we'll boop, boop, boop. Come on. Yeah, you're just playing around with it. Come on. Now, see? The other one's going off. You... Come on. Do what you're going to do. There. That looks like a crucian. I'm kind of tempted to just bring this one in, because I feel like with what we saw happening to it... Maybe there's a small fish on it. No, oh, no, I guess not. Okay, let me bring the friction brake back down to there. And we'll try tossing it out that way. I aim left, it flings right. <laughs> I guess I should have waited for a little bit more definitive. Uh, again, remember the two-step verification. Rod dips down forward and the jingle is the biggest thing to watch for. What have we got here? Now. Oh, another good-sized roach. You're going to definitely be handy, because we can keep working towards some of the orders there. But it is the feeder rod that's starting to show... Feels like it's slacking more. I wonder if I should go for more float rods, just because of, again, it seems like they get so much more action. Oh, and just as I was mentioning it, now we're starting to see. Oh, a little perch. Did qualify for a task, though, which was nice. And you. Just going to tighten that up again to see if the line goes slack or not. Yeah, see, there is interest, but nothing that makes me think definitively one way or the other yet. If the line kind of went slack and started caving inwards from its weight, I would say, okay, there's a small fish on. Or if the rod was dipping down and we saw the thing chiming, there's a bigger one on. But just like that, it doesn't really feel like there's enough feedback to do any action with it yet. You know what? Let me turn off the flashlight because we don't need that. And just wait and see how it goes. I might actually have to go back and check in my series about, like, what bait I was using specifically to go after the bleaks. Just because it seemed like... Maybe it was just the right time of day and right spot on Mosquito Lake that I caught so many of them so steadily. But now I'm not, like, haven't seen any this weekend. Even with the, or maybe the hook's still too big. I, I don't know. It just feels like something's definitely not quite lined up as it was. And now it's like nothing is even in the water. Okay, nothing on that one. Line is still tight. No activity on the float yet. Yeah, we still got quite a bit of time, though. Oh, there we go. Float rod's getting some activity. Just gotta wait for the right time.
Yeah, it's getting pulled a bit back and forth, but we're waiting for something more definitive to act on. Not quite yet. See, it is moving around, which does make me think. Oh, snagged. Okay. So, you know what? Let me try this trick out. So, we're going to bring this rod in. And then we're just going to quickly move between the areas and try to... S oh, right. I was trying to avoid this little area that seemed to get, like, stuck on. There we go. Get out there, you. Okay, we'll lower the friction brake again. Put it away. Now, if we take this... And we do... Uh, not that. If I go here... And then just quick travel... Because we have the rod in hand... I think it'll... Basically, just we keep all our inventory in that without losing the everything to it. So we'll take a moment just to let everything load in for Winding Rivulet. Although I am curious, do I keep my entire fish net or keep net as well as I do this? Because if I do, there really is no downside to doing this strategy. And let's just wait. Yeah, I keep the entire keep net. And if I go to one, the bait's still on. I still got the hook and everything. So, yeah, that is the best advice I can really pass on is because of how snags are. Just uh, use one of the easy travel things and probably make sure to pick up your rod and make sure you have it in your inventory. But whatever one is snagged, just hold it in your hands and then do the travel. You'll keep all your gear and you won't have to worry about any losses. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to check the cafe orders, but also maybe I should just keep going for another few minutes. No, let me try here. Yeah, I don't think I've actually used just like the basic uh, worm bait at the dock here. Now, it might be all we'll get are like roaches and perch, but... Still worth a shot to try and see what we might get. And there shouldn't be any chance of snags here. Unless it's something like the feeder rod gets caught on the bottom. We should be just... Nope. Should be pretty good as we are. Yeah, seeing a little bit of interest, but I need more consistent uh, dip of the rods and there. I think that's actually good. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's see what we got on the line. Bring you over this way. Oh, looks like a gibble carp. So that's actually what we've been after. Or is it a Crucian? No, oh, it's a Crucian. Well, it was a carp of one kind, at least. Yeah, we'll just take a step over here. And wait and see what else we might get. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to get, like, 30 fish for just this weekend alone, but we're getting up there. 24 right now. Probably number 25 here if I get uh, this one reeled in. Yeah, that's definitely on. Uh, what are you? Oh, a perch. Nothing big, but at least something. Yeah, so we'll see if we can manage to get five more fish in before we, the episode ends, but... I don't know, we'd probably have to get, like, one every minute. 
And I don't know if the fish will be that uh, cooperative for us. Yeah, give it time and see if anything does go for it. Nope. Yep. Possibly on the feet or... You know what? I'm going to... Okay, let me act on this one first. I should have given it more time before I pulled it out. I'm going to reel in the feeder rod because this does... This makes me think like rough or another small fish might be on. Yeah. There we go. What do we got coming in? No, oh, maybe a little perch? No, a carp. Okay, we're at 26. I think our first episode we got 14 fish in, so you know what? Even if we can just get a couple more, I think that's a good standing to take back to the cafe and just see everything we've got. I doubt we've actually completed any of the orders. Maybe one of the roach orders, but definitely not the carp orders. We've been getting the wrong kind for that. <laughs> Kept getting crucian, but only like one or two gibble. Oh, there we go. No, oh, actually we got a little warning about our food level. Uh, what are you? No, oh, a perch. You know what? We'll put you away. We'll give it a minute or two, see if anything does hit our... Uh, our feeder rod here. And then maybe what I'll do is... I'll get some food in us, use the shovel, and then we'll check our order and everything. There we go. What do we got? What do we got? Ah, uh, looks like maybe just another small perch. Come on in, you. Yeah, just another little perch. Okay. So, what I think we want to do... ...is come here to have our bit of food. We'll come over here. Ah, uh, go down to the shovel to use that. Do a dig. Okay, just some worms. Put the shovel away, because our full our full food should help for our energy, perhaps. And now we'll go and check and see if there was anything at all for the uh cafe to complete. So let's see. Uh oh! Yeah, we actually got all... Okay, so we do have enough for the Crucians, which is nice. So we got one order complete. Oh, we only got two of the Chinese sleepers, unfortunately. Oh, I only got one of the Gibble Carps. Uh, we needed five, we got two. We did get the Eyed, though. That's a nice profit right there. Oh, we didn't quite get enough... I don't think our roach was quite big enough, but we almost had one for that. So yeah, I actually didn't do too bad, so... About 25 silver isn't too bad a profit for today, I think. Considering the variety of fish, and that was only the orders, too. We still can stop in here and see how much this all sells. 1630. Again, what? How big was that roach? One point... You were so close, but not quite, although... Still do sell for like four and a half, so that's pretty good. Yeah, most expensive fish, and we're actually not too bad for silver after everything was said and done. 
So I think that's what I'll have to keep doing for the weekends, is just keep using the basic worms, because they produced for us. But overall, I think that was a pretty successful weekend, and we're good to wrap things up right here. So thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Russian Fishing 4. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video or episode, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.